What's up everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Today as you see from the title, um, I'm changing the coils, the ignition coil on my BMW M5. And I got, um, I had a couple like, I don't know if it's misfiring or I really don't know, it's just so confusing. So I went, diagnosed it at the BMW dealership. They were like, this, that, blah, blah, blah. I was like, all right. So he said you should buy this and that. So he gave me a name. And I got it in the in the mail today, so I was like, it's a good day to to change it, cause I'm trying to drive that thing. You know, I drove a couple times, but I wanted to drive it to be driven like 100%, no problems or nothing. And yeah, so I got I just opened it actually, but um, like it's really well packaged, really nice. Um, really good those are like the original ones um, like same as the BMW one but it's just different company and so I'm about to pop that hood and get the other ones the old ones out and put some the new ones in so I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog So, what you need to do first is there's covers over here, the ignition cover, the coils, it covers the whole thing, so you gotta take that off. Just took them out and the car been like just sitting, I can't drive it, and I, at the same time I haven't put them back in because I knew I was gonna get another ones, and they were getting painted too, same as this beautiful color, just to make the engine look way better. And now what we gotta do is take the intakes off, and then we probably gotta move this to the side because I really need to get in there. And that should be it. It's really easy, just this metal and takes the pipe for it, the sensors, and should be right in time. The shocks are really not working right, so I got new ones on the way. But for now, this wood will do. So let's get started. All right, so now I'm just getting everything loose so I can take the intakes out. Uh, it's really simple. I have opened it so many times. It's like easy. It would take me like less than five minutes on both sides So yeah, let's get that going and I'm excited man to draft this car like to Really beat it and like go hard on it because that's what cars are made for and yeah <sighs> Sensor take box all right so took everything off it just took me like two minutes maybe maybe less but just a little tad over here in this big box big metal thing gotta come off so and now just start taking those off then when I get in there I'll just take this to the side and just be real careful don't flip it just put it to the side should be all good all right, so first one coming off, uh, that was easy. Sometimes we just gotta like really wiggle it to take it off. Cause it's been there for like ages probably, I don't know. I don't know what I work out for. <laughs> but now this thing, it's really tight. All right, first one out. It's not, I don't know. I mean, it was misfiring or the code were coming out from one to eight, so this is one of them. But this is straight from BMW. So yeah, let's keep on going. I actually, one of the tricks I have learned, not just now, I just remembered actually on the, what, fourth one. Um, if you have like, um, something like that, you just, you, when you open it, you take the plug out, you just put it in the hole and like lift on both sides. It should not break. And you pull it and it comes out really easy. So, especially the hard ones. We just took the tenth one and it's right there. Uh, it was really tight, messed up my finger, but it's all good. Um, I was gonna say, just make sure to wiggle it from like, from 
over here because this goes part goes all the way in and this pops out so if you just hold it wiggle it wiggle it and it should be fine um, but and then just take this part and then do it with the screwdriver or anything that you have and just be easy on it be gentle because those the sometimes those will break those little things but if you're taking it out, throwing it away, it don't matter. But if this breaks, you will have a hard time to take it out. You gotta take it out from here. So just be easy on it. And second thing is, on the hoses, man. I got, I was about to break that one. It was really close to it. Yeah, I broke one the other day. It's this one for the vacuum line. And it was really expensive to replace for that little hose. So yeah, just be careful. Let's put the new ones in and then start on that side. Let's do it. Company. All right, let's get installed. See how that goes. It's really hard to film and do these. But let's see how we can get it in. Go. That's it. Just make sure it sits in place and just push it. I'm just gonna stop filming for a second. Just push it all the way as much as you can, and then plug this in there, and it should be all done. All right, everything is done. All of them put back together. Putting them back together just really easy, man. Just uh, make sure to when you put them back. Push them all the way, you know, and make sure wiggle them to not come out and just push them as much as you can. You will hear a little like click, but that's about it. Like you would see them move a little, but that's how it is. Just push them as much as you can. That's about it. Everything should be good. Now I'm gonna be putting the intakes back and then I'm gonna start on this side and then finish and get it all good and turn it on and see. Maybe uh, because when you have these kind of problems, misfire and stuff. The car will be maybe in a lip mode most of the time. The car won't run good. Uh, you'll have uh, the the, um, the RPMs. You won't be going all the way because it stops you because it doesn't want to hurt the engine. So that's a lot. So with this V10, because it got so much power, um, it just doesn't let me rev over 4,000 RPMs. And my 3 through 5 5 with the twin turbos, it used to the car just automatically turns off the turbos so it doesn't hurt the engine so it's just every car is different like I know that car so well and then with this one till I figured it out I was like oh that's the problem all right I see how it is and I just got on it and hopefully it should be it you know because that's the only thing that's showing that's uh, it's kind of in the lip mode so yeah let's put this back and then I'll start on the other side and you guys already know how it is same thing on just the other side so yeah when I wrap up everything I'll pick up the camera and tell you guys what it feels like maybe it's better so we'll see all right all done put the other ones back in looking good this side looking good this side is way harder than this side because you got this stuff over here and it's way tighter i don't know just it's way tighter you got more stuff on this side than this side this side even this comes out really easy i didn't bolt this on because um i'm taking them back off really soon I just want to make sure the car runs good, everything's good, and I'm gonna put the other, the painted ones back inside. Because if it's not, hopefully it's good. But if it's not, if I take it to any mechanic or I work on it, it's gonna scratch. So I want to finish everything, dial in, make sure everything's perfect, and then I will put that piece back, the coils, ignition coils, and put this piece for the electrics back on. So everything's good, and now I just wanted, to, I realized that. This is like, is this one as you guys see, it's for a BMW. And it's like kind of yellowish. I don't know if it changes colors or not. And so this one's from BMW. This one, it's not for BMW. This one is from the same brand I'm putting right now. And it's kind of like mixed up. I mean, it should be fine because when I got the car, it was running okay. But maybe that's one of the causes to two different brands in there. I mean, BMWs are really sensitive. 
So I don't know. It's just could be that problem. Could be there's misfire. Could be they just too old. But we about to find out. I'm about to turn it on, and I just want to make sure everything is good, dialed in, and then I'm uh, I'm gonna turn it on and see. You know, I still need the program to to take the lights off because the lights don't go away like this. Uh, I wish it did. I mean, the new ones probably do, but this is a 2006. So, yeah, we'll see. Maybe if it runs good or not. But let's do that. Turn it on. And I hope it's good. All right. Wake up. It's going to take a couple times to start up. Because, um, until, like, everything goes through and, yeah. So, let's just turn it on. Probably the first couple times it's not going to start up. And maybe it would. I'm just gonna let it run. Let everything run for a second. So the system, the engine. And let's see. Alright, let's we'll start it. I mean ha. I think we fixed the problem, I believe, because this startup is so clean, it's not even shaking at all. But let's wait it a little more, you know. Ooh. I think we fixed the problem. I can confirm the car is not lip mode anymore. And one of, I would say, I would say one of the problems for lip mode or the car is not like you get a, a check engine light says reduce speed and the half engine light coming up. One of the problems it could be spark plugs or the ignition calls and that would fix your problem right away and that's what I have found out in this car too and in my old car because when I changed them both of them they're good. Maybe you have check engine light for some other stuff but for me the car is running perfect right now and we go for a little drive. Let's see how it is. All right, so just driving it, I still gotta check engine light because I have the sensors for um, the intakes and a couple other stuff, and I have the brake light to change the sensors for the tire, for the brakes. And the M mode is on, everything is on. You know what I'm saying? Everything. And yeah, I'm just happy to drive my car, man. You know, I haven't, I haven't felt the V10 yet, and I just did. So, I'm glad. But yeah, I'm gonna try to fix the engine light because I really don't like it. I'll do some stuff about it and see what's up. So yeah, let's roll the windows down. And let's see how that goes. Woo! It just need a muffler delete. For real, muffler delete, that's about it. You don't need nothing else. But yeah, I'm driving back to the the new crib and I'll pick up the camera there. Alright, I just made it home. My car in one piece. It's driving good. The driving amazing actually. Which is I'm proud of. But fix this baby. Five, the best. What's up? Say what's up. Stop. What's up? Stop. <laughs> My beautiful nephew. So yeah, um, just made it home. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn the notifications on so you get every video I post. What is this? Huh? That's right? Yeah. Does it break your digest? I need a translator. So yeah, take care. Thank you for watching. Peace out.